Earlier this year, right here, GMA3, we were fortunate enough to share an exclusive story about identical twins separated at birth. They met for the first time with our cameras right there capturing that special moment. Our correspondent Steve Olson Tommy brought us this story. Let's take a quick look back at what happened that day. My name is Emily Bushnell, and today is my 36th birthday. I was adopted when I was three months old. I came to the United States on an airplane from Korea. My name is Molly Sinert, and today is my 36th birthday. I was also adopted to a Jewish family. And neither of them knew that the other existed. I wanted to do the DNA test because she was adopted, and I wanted to find out if I had more family on her side. Molly Sinert wanted to know her health history and took the same DNA test. You share 49.96% DNA with this person. We predict that she's your daughter. <laughs> like this is obviously not right because I've never gone into labor. <laughs> she had written back and said, wow, Molly, my mother was adopted from South Korea in 1985 and her birthday is March 29th. <laughs> my life changed. She had a sister who had a daughter, and that sister is her identical twin. They decided they wouldn't Zoom or FaceTime when they saw each other for the first time. They wanted it to be in person. On our birthday. March 29th, <laughs> and we were there. <laughs> oh my God. It's the happiest moment of my life. I can honestly say that. And look at who we have here. Here they are with the update. Molly, Emily, it's good to see you both. Me too. Now, I don't, I'm just meeting you for the first time, and I would swear you all have spent your entire lives together. You have been sitting at <laughs> your little personalities are the same, and I'm sorry to tell, you all have been debating about how to sit. Like this. <laughs> This is the thing you'll have done since you came out. Have you all noticed and continue to notice little similarities about each other? So many, yeah. so many similarities. The mannerisms, yes. I think, are the most interesting. Um, and we still discover them every day. There's something yes. new. <laughs> now, you tell it. We saw the, the cameras there in the reunion, but what was the rest of that day like? Oh, that was just such an incredible day. And looking back on it, watching that segment, mm -hmm. you know, it, it feels like it was yesterday, and yet I feel like I've known her forever. It's a happy moment, and it's been going well, but were there any concerns going into it? This is someone you lived your whole lives about to meet for the first time. Was there any concern, like, maybe we won't hit it off? Maybe we're going oh, to yeah. try to you, you had the same, Oh you yeah, I think we both had those thoughts, and, and at first we didn't share that with one another, but <laughs> somebody came out with it on a phone call, and it was just this, like, moment of relief. <laughs> yes. But you're not having to fake it. This is natural. It's like you say, it's like you've been together your whole lives, but what have you, you've put your lives together, family, friend, what have you all been doing since we yes. saw that six months ago, right? So we've been fortunate to see each other about once a month. Okay. Um, since March and we got to have our families join together in Philadelphia they all met it was a seamless transition into growing the family it's as if we've been family okay. for decades are you all tracking down or trying now um, and again they just happen to find each other but are you now intentional about finding other family out there yeah. I'll let you take that one. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yes, this has probably been more of the emotional piece to yeah. all of this because neither one of us had searched for family before. Mm. Um, and now we are lucky enough to have connected with family. We know they're out there. Mm. We, I, I shouldn't say connected with. We know that our mother and father are still alive. Mm. Um, and we actually have a brother and sister wow. um, all living in Korea. Oh, my goodness. You all, and you all are able to get together how often now? Uh, these yeah. days, seeing each other. It's yeah, about once every month. About, yeah, once a month. About we have a trip planned uh, next month. We're going to Austin, okay. and then the following month we'll be in Florida in December. So, yeah. well, yeah. May maybe Austin because they have good spots down there, a bunch of good bars and restaurants. <laughs> we would like to, if it's okay, we would like to buy you dinner. Oh my god! If that's okay, <laughs> on GMA three, here's, here's four hundred bucks now oh for gosh. dinner wherever you want to eat. Now I don't know if you're gonna have other people with you, but four hundred dollars for two. You could do some damage. <laughs> My husband will be there. We love barbecues. Uh, okay. so. well, <laughs> we'll eat all you, the barbecue. And you know what? That's just a small gesture, just something to say we are rooting oh for you and happy for you and just want to buy you dinner. Oh, 
period, Can you point come? Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. Well, they didn't have that in the budget for, um, <laughs> for TJ's meal. No, uh, but really, guys, thank you so much. It's been so wonderful watching your story. And to see you all and your energy in studio is just wonderful. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Well, we Thanks for having us. We're going to follow up with you all down the road, okay? Yes, yeah. absolutely. All right, thank you all so much for being here. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.